Spectrum of Brief History of Modern India First Phase of Revolutionary Activities, 1907-1917 Why the Surge of Revolutionary Activities? The activities of revolutionary heroism started as a byproduct of the growth of militant nationalism. The first phase acquired a more activist form as a fallout of the Swadeshi and Bokot movement and continued till 1917. The second phase started as a fallout of the non-cooperation movement. After the decline of the open movement, the younger nationalists who had participated in the movement found it impossible to leave off and disappear into the background. They looked for avenues to give expression to their patriotic energies, but were disillusioned by the failure of the leadership, even the extremists, to find new forms of struggle to bring into practice the new militant trends. The extremist leaders, although they called upon the youth to make sacrifices, failed to create an effective organization or find new forms of political work to tap these revolutionary energies. The youth, finding all avenues of peaceful political protest close to them under government repression, thought that if nationalist goals of independence were to be met, the British must be expelled physically by force. The Revolutionary Programme the revolutionaries considered, but did not find it practical at that stage to implement, the options of creating a violent mass revolution throughout the country or of trying to subvert the loyalties of the army. Instead, they opted to follow in the footsteps of Russian nihilists or the Irish nationalists. This methodology involved individual heroic actions, such as organizing assassinations of unpopular officials and of traitors and informers among the revolutionaries themselves, conducting Swadeshi dacotis to raise funds for revolutionary activities, and, during the First World War, organizing military conspiracies with expectation of help from the enemies of Britain. The idea was to strike terror in the hearts of the rulers, arouse people and remove the fear of authority from their minds. The revolutionaries intended to inspire the people by appealing to their patriotism, especially the idealistic youth, who would finally drive the British out. The extremist leaders failed to ideologically counter the revolutionaries as they did not highlight the difference between a revolution based on activity of the masses and one based on individual violent activity, thus allowing the individualistic violent activities to take root. A Survey of Revolutionary Activities Following is a brief survey of revolutionary activities in different parts of India and abroad before and during the First World War. Bengal By the 1870s Calcutta student community was honeycombed with secret societies, but these were not very active. The first revolutionary groups were organized in 1902 in Midnapur, under Gnanendranath Basu, and in Calcutta, the Anushilan Samiti founded by Pramotha Mitta and including Jatindranath Banerjee, Barindra Kumar Ghosh and others. But their activities were limited to giving physical and moral training to the members and remained insignificant till 1907 to 2008. In April 1906, an inner circle within Anushilan, Barindra Kumar Ghosh, Bhupendranath Datta, started the weekly Yugantar and conducted a few abortive actions. By 1905 to 1906, Several newspapers had started advocating revolutionary violence. For instance, after severe police brutalities on participants of the Barisal Conference, April 1906, the Yuganta wrote, The remedy lies with the people. The 30 crore people inhabiting India must raise their 60 crore hands to stop this curse of oppression. Force must be stopped by force. Rashbehari Bose and Sachin Sanyal had organized a secret society covering far-flung areas of Punjab, Delhi and United Provinces while some others like Hemchandra Kanungo went abroad for military and political training. In 1907, an abortive attempt was made by the Yugantar group on the life of a very unpopular British official, Sir Fuller, the first lieutenant governor of the new province of eastern Bengal and Assam. Although he had resigned from the post on 20th August 1906. In December 1907, there were attempts to derail the train on which the Lieutenant Governor, Sri Andrew Fraser, 
was traveling in 1908, Rafula Chaki and Khudiram Bose threw a bomb at a carriage supposed to be carrying a particularly sadistic white judge, Kings Ford, in Muzaffarpur. Kings Ford was not in the carriage. Unfortunately, two British ladies, instead, got killed. Rafula Chaki shot himself dead while Khudiram Bose was tried and hanged. The whole Anushilan group was arrested including the Ghosh brothers, Aurobindo and Barindra, who were tried in the Alipore conspiracy case, variously called Maniktola bomb conspiracy or Muraripukur conspiracy. Barindra Ghosh's house was on Muraripukur Road in the Maniktola suburb of Calcutta. The Ghosh brothers were charged with conspiracy or waging war against the king, the equivalent of high treason and punishable with death by hanging. Chitranjan Das defended Aurobindo. Aurobindo was acquitted of all charges with the judge condemning the flimsy nature of the evidence against him. Balinder Ghosh, as the head of the secret society of revolutionaries and Ullas Kardat, as the maker of bombs, were given the death penalty which was later commuted to life in prison. During the trial, Narendra Gosai, or Goswami, who had turned a prova and crown witness, was shot dead by two co-accused, Satyendranath Bose and Kanalal Datta in jail. In February 1909, the public prosecutor was shot dead in Calcutta and in February 1910, a deputy superintendent of police met the same fate while leaving the Calcutta High Court. In 1908, Bara Dakoti was organized by Dakka Anushilan under Pulin Das to raise funds for revolutionary activities. Rashbehari Bose and Sachin Sanyal staged a spectacular bomb attack on Viceroy Hardinge while he was making his official entry into the new capital of Delhi in a procession through Chandani Chowk in December 1912. Hardinge was injured, but not killed. Investigations following the assassination attempt led to the Delhi conspiracy trial. At the end of the trial, Basant Kumar Biswas, Amir Chand and Avad Bihari were convicted and executed for their roles in the conspiracy. Rashbehari Bose was known as the person behind the plan, but he evaded arrest because, it is said, he escaped donning a disguise. The Western Anushilan Samiti found a good leader in Jatindranath Mukherjee or Bagha Jatin and emerged as the Jugantar or Yugantar. Jatin revitalized links between the central organization in Calcutta and other places in Bengal, Bihar and Orissa. During the First World War, the Jugantal Party arranged to import German arms and ammunition through sympathizers and revolutionaries abroad. Jatin asked Rashbehari Bose to take charge of Upper India, aiming to bring about an All India insurrection in what has come to be called the German Plot or the Zimmerman Plan. The Jugantal Party raised funds through a series of Dakotis, which came to be known as Taxicab Dakotis and Boat Dakotis so as to work out the Indo-German conspiracy. It was planned that a guerrilla force would be organized to start an uprising in the country, with a seizure of Fort William and a mutiny by armed forces. Unfortunately for the revolutionaries, the plot was leaked out by a traitor. Police came to know that Bagha Jatin was in Balasore waiting for the delivery of German arms. Jatin and his associates were located by the police. There was a gunfight as a result of which the revolutionaries were either killed or arrested. The German plot thus failed. Jatin Mukherjee was shot and died a hero's death in Balasore on the Orissa coast in September 1915. We shall die to awaken the nation, was a call of Bagha Jatin. The newspapers and journals advocating revolutionary activity included Sandhya and Yugantar in Bengal and Kal in Maharashtra. In the end, revolutionary activity emerged as the most substantial legacy of Swadeshi Bengal which had an impact on educated youth for a generation or more. But, an overemphasis on Hindu religion kept the Muslims aloof. Moreover, it encouraged quixotic heroism. No involvement of the masses was envisaged, which, coupled with the narrow upper caste social base of the movement in Bengal, severely limited the scope of the revolutionary activity. In the end, it failed to withstand the weight of state repression. Maharashtra 
The first of the revolutionary activities in Maharashtra was the organization of the Ramosi Peasant Force by Vasudev Balwant Farke in 1879, which aimed to rid the country of the British by instigating an armed revolt by disrupting communication lines. It hoped to raise funds for its activities through the courties. It was suppressed prematurely. During the 1890s, Tilak propagated a spirit of militant nationalism, including use of violence, through Ganpati and Shivaji festivals, and his journals Kesri and Mahanatta. Two of his disciples, the Chapekar brothers, Damodar and Balkrishna, murdered the plague commissioner of Pune, Rand, and one Lieutenant Est in 1897. Savarkar and his brother organized Mitra Mela, a secret society. In 1899, which merged with Abhinav Bharat after Mazini's Young Italy in 1904, soon Nasik, Pune, and Bombay emerged as centers of bomb manufacture. In 1909, A.M.T. Jackson, the collector of Nasik, who was also a well-known Indologist, was killed by Anant Lakshman Kanheri, a member of Abhinav Bharat. It was found that the killing was part of a conspiracy. to overthrow the british government in india by means of armed revolution 38 people were arrested among these it was found that savarkar with his two brothers was the brain leader and moving spirit of the conspiracy at the trial savarkar as the sole inspiration and moving spirit of the conspiracy extending over a number of years was sentenced to transportation for life and forfeiture of all his property Punjab the Punjab extremism was fueled by issues such as frequent famines coupled with rise in land revenue and irrigation tax practice of begar by zameen das and by the events in bengal among those active here were lala lajpat rai who brought out punjabi with its motto of self help at any cost and ajit singh bhagat singh's uncle who organized the extremist anjumanai mohiz banaivtan in lahore with its journal bharat mata Before Ajit Singh's group turned to extremism, it was active in urging non-payment of revenue and water rates among Chenab colonists and Bari Doa peasants. Other leaders included Aga Haider, Syed Haider Raza, Bhai Parmanand, and the radical Urdu poet Lalchand Falak. Extremism in the Punjab died down quickly after the government struck in May 1907 with a ban on political meetings and the deportation of Lajpat Rai and Ajit Singh. After this Ajit Singh and a few other associates Sufi Amba Prasad Lal Chand Bhai Parmanand Lala Hardyal developed into full scale revolutionaries During the first world war Rashbihari Bose was involved as one of the leading figures of the Ghad revolution At the close of 1913 Bose met Jatin to discuss the possibilities of an all India armed rising of 1857 type Then He worked in cooperation with Bagha Jatin, extending the Bengal plan to Punjab and the upper provinces. As the plan for revolution did not succeed, Rashbihari Bose escaped to Japan in 1915. Much later, he was to play an important part in the founding of the Indian National Army. Revolutionary activities abroad, the need for shelter, the possibility of bringing out revolutionary literature that would be immune from the press acts. and the quest for arms took indian revolutionaries abroad shyamji krishnavarma had started in london in 1905 an indian home rule society india house as a center for indian students a scholarship scheme to bring radical youth from india and a journal the indian sociologist revolutionaries such as savarkar and hardyal became the members of india house Madanlal Dhingra from this circle assassinated the India office bureaucrat Curzon Willie in 1909. Soon, London became too dangerous for the revolutionaries, particularly after Savarkar had been extradited in 1910 and transported for life in the Nasik conspiracy case. New centers emerged on the continent, Paris and Geneva, from where Madame Bhikaji Kama a parsi revolutionary who had developed contacts with french socialists and who brought out bande matram and ajit singh operated and after 1909 when anglo german relations deteriorated virendranath chattopadhyay chose berlin as his base 
the ghad the ghad party was a revolutionary group organized around a weekly newspaper the ghad with its headquarters at san francisco and branches along the us coast and in the far east these revolutionaries included mainly ex soldiers and peasants who had migrated from the punjab to the us and canada in search of better employment opportunities they were based in the us and canadian cities along the western pacific coast Pre-Ghad revolutionary activity had been carried on by Ramdas Puri, G. D. Kumar, Thalaknath Das, Sohan Singh Bhakna, and Lala Hardyal, who reached there in 1911. To carry out revolutionary activities, the earlier activists had set up a Swadesh Sevak Home at Vancouver and United India House at Seattle. Finally, in 1913, the Ghad was established. The Ghar program was to organize assassinations of officials, publish revolutionary and anti-imperialist literature, work among Indian troops stationed abroad, procure arms and bring about a simultaneous revolt in all British colonies. The moving spirits behind the Ghar party were Lala Hardyal, Ram Chandra, Bhagwan Singh, Kartar Singh Sarba, Barkatullah and Bhai Parmanand. The Ghadrites intended to bring about a revolt in India. Their plans were encouraged by two events in 1914, the Komagata Maru incident and the outbreak of the First World War. Komagata Maru incident and the Ghar. The importance of this event lies in the fact that it created an explosive situation in the Punjab. Komagata Maru was the name of a ship which was carrying 370 passengers, mainly Sikh and Punjabi Muslim would-be immigrants from Singapore to Vancouver. They were turned back by Canadian authorities after two months of privation and uncertainty. It was generally believed that the Canadian authorities were influenced by the British government. The ship finally anchored at Calcutta in September 1914. The inmates refused to board the Punjab bond train. In the ensuing conflict with the police at Baj Baj near Calcutta, 22 persons died. Inflamed by this and with the outbreak of the First World War, the Ghad leaders decided to launch a violent attack to oust British rule in India. They urged fighters to go to India. Kartar Singh Sarba and Raghubar Dayal Gupta left for India. Bengal revolutionaries were contacted. Rashbihari Bose and Sachin Sanyal were asked to lead the movement. Political dacotties were committed to raise funds. The Punjab political dacotties of January to February 1915 had a somewhat new social content. In at least three out of the five main cases, the raiders targeted the money lenders and the debt records before decamping with the cash. Thus, an explosive situation was created in Punjab. The Gadrites fixed 21st February 1915 as the date for an armed revolt in Feropur, Lahore, and Rawalpindi garrisons. The plan was foiled at the last moment due to treachery. The authorities took immediate action, aided by the Defence of India Rules, 1915. Rebellious regiments were disbanded, leaders arrested and deported, and 45 of them hanged. Rashbihari Bose fled to Japan, from where he and Abni Mukherjee made many efforts to send arms, while Sachin Sanyal was transported for life. The British met the wartime threat with a formidable battery of repressive measures, the most intensive since 1857, and above all by the Defence of India Act passed in March 1915 primarily to smash the Ghar movement. There were large-scale detentions without trial, special courts giving extremely severe sentences, numerous court martials of army men. Apart from the Bengal revolutionaries and the Punjab Gadrites, Radical pan-Islamists Ali brothers Maulana Azad Hasrat Mohani were interned for years Evaluation of Ghar the achievement of the Ghar movement lay in the realm of ideology it preached militant nationalism with a completely secular approach but politically and militarily it failed to achieve much because it lacked an organized and sustained leadership underestimated the extent of preparation required at every level organizational ideological financial and tactical strategic and perhaps lala hardyal was unsuited for the job of an organizer revolutionaries in europe
The Berlin Committee for Indian Independence was established in 1915 by Virendranath Chattopadhyay, Bhupendranath Datta, Lala Hardyal and others with the help of the German Foreign Office under Zimmermann plan. These revolutionaries aim to mobilize the Indian settlers abroad to send volunteers and arms to India to incite rebellion among Indian troops there and to even organize an armed invasion of British India to liberate the country. The Indian revolutionaries in Europe sent missions to Baghdad, Persia, Turkey and Kabul to work among Indian troops and the Indian prisoners of war, POWs, and to incite anti-British feelings among the people of these countries. One mission under Raza Mahendra Pratap Singh, Barkatullah and Ubaidullah Sindhi went to Kabul to organize a provisional Indian government there with the help of the Crown Prince, Amanullah. Mutini in Singapore Among the scattered mutinies during this period, the most notable was in Singapore on 15 February 1915 by Punjabi Muslim 5th Light Infantry and the 36th Sikh Battalion under Jamadar Chisti Khan. Jamadar Abdul Ghani and Subedar Dor Khan. It was crushed after a fierce battle in which many were killed. Later, 37 persons were executed and 41 transported for life. Decline There was a temporary respite in revolutionary activity after the First World War because the release of prisoners held under the Defence of India rules cooled down passions a bit. There was an atmosphere of conciliation after Montagu's August 1917 statement and the talk of constitutional reforms and the coming of Gandhi on the scene with the program of non-violent non-cooperation promised new hope. If you like this video so please do like, share this video and hit the subscribe button.